three warning signs that she is emotionally damaged, that she's an emotionally damaged female and you want to avoid her at all costs. Because if you don't and you hook up with this girl or worse, you impregnate her, you are going to be in for a lifetime of misery and pain. And if you don't believe me, just ask all the guys who've hooked up with emotionally damaged women and they will tell you for themselves, brother, run away, don't walk, run, get your ass out of there. All right, so in today's coaching video, I'm going to give you my top three warning signs for how to tell that a girl is emotionally damaged and you need to let her be, right? You need to walk away. So the first sign that she's emotionally damaged, you guys are gonna love this one, because we talk about it here on my channel a lot. First sign is that she is single and over 30. Ooh, surprise, surprise, right? She's single and over 30. And as you guys know, the hotter she is, the bigger red flag it is, right? Because you have to ask yourself, hot girl, this chick in her 20s, she was getting hit on daily. I mean, literally daily by hundreds and hundreds of guys, thousands of guys, right? From the moment she would step out her door, set foot outside from that moment on until she came back home and got inside her home, she was getting hit on left and right, okay? And you cannot tell me that girl has not had several, right? And I'm talking about hundreds of high value men who have offered to take her away, to take care of her, sweep her off her feet, you know, fund her financially, pay for all her bills, and where she wouldn't have to do anything. She had plenty of those guys, plenty of those opportunities in her 20s. You have to ask yourself, why didn't she take any? What went wrong? How come these guys aren't around anymore? Why did they disappear? Why is she still single and over 30? It's because she is emotionally damaged. You know what we call them on our, this channel, guys? The DG. DG. Damaged goods, right? Um, that is the first warning sign that she's emotionally damaged. And you know, I'm not trying to attack these women because sometimes like, <laughs> I'll get hater comments, right? Some of these chicks have literally stalked me on social media. There was uh, one girl, like, I don't even want to call her a girl, one woman. I don't even want to call her that because she was very immature. I, one female, clearly over 30, clearly single, clearly emotionally damaged, like follows me on Instagram, sends me all of these nasty messages. I finally just had to report it to Instagram. I'm like, hey, this person's harassing me, right? And then she sent me more. She's like, oh my gosh, you little bitch. You told on me on Instagram and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, why are you messaging a complete stranger based off a YouTube video? Were you that triggered by a YouTube video that you need to like take precious time out of your day to send me this diatribe, these paragraphs of messages about how horrible I am. It's like, seriously, if you're that triggered by a YouTube video, I think you clearly have mental issues. And I told her, I said something like, you need to see a psychologist. And then all of a sudden like, blah, 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 blah. you know, it was like ripping me apart. She was like, oh, you're a stupid Range Rover. Your $2 wrist strap watch. I'm like, dude, this is a diesel. This is a lot more than $2, right? You guys who buy diesel watches, go look it up. Well over 500 bucks, so uh, kiss my ass with that. But anyway, she was like, oh, da 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 and you know, you're living in your car, and I'm like, uh, check my social media, dude. I'm like, I've posted my income on my social media. I have photos of my house. I'm like, I'm, you know, I wasn't gonna go back and forth with it. I just said, well, <laughs> I'm like, it's all on my social media. You know, you're free to believe what you want and uh, have a nice day. And that even like ticked her off more. And and I've gotten several messages that are similar like that. And it's always coming from the same type of woman. They're over 30, they're single, they're emotionally damaged. They happen to watch my YouTube video and now they gotta like take it out on me that they they basically effed up in life, right? They didn't get married, they, they screwed themselves. And then they have to take it out on me because I'm warning guys, right? I'm warning guys to stay clear of these women and basically they're attacking me because they want me to shut up, right? They want me to shut my mouth, stop telling you guys this stuff. Oh, you know, why do you have to tell men this? You're spreading hatred. I'm like, spreading hatred by making men aware so they don't make this mistake so they can get themselves a higher value partner to pair bond with? I'm like, you don't understand. A lot of these guys are looking 
you know, are looking for somebody to have a family with. I'm like, if they can get somebody who is not damaged and is high value and a high caliber woman, I rather have them with her than somebody damaged like you, right? Somebody who's like messaging a complete stranger, a YouTuber on social media because she she didn't like the video. She was offended by it. I'm offended by it. Funny, I never, almost never, almost never get a girl under 30 in her 20s sending me nasty messages. They don't, they don't care. They're like, you're right. I get a lot of these girls supporting me. They're like, yeah, I'm in my 20s. What should I do? I've got this boyfriend, da, da, da. I've helped a lot of those girls out because I don't want them to end up like these chicks in their 30s, got no man, no life, no friends. It's like they don't even have family who wants to be around them. And so they have nothing else better to do and they have to message me through social media. They gotta stalk me, go on my Instagram, and they don't even, like, once the message gets filtered, like if I don't know the person, it goes in a separate folder. If somebody DMs you that you don't know, it goes in this separate folder that you don't see. And the person who picks those up is my VA because I just get too many messages. And my so my Indian VA, my Indian VA, Rajiv, he lives out by Mumbai. He picks these up and he filters them for me. Before I actually had a female doing it, her name was Pratyusha, and Pratyusha used to fee, uh, used to, uh, used to to filter these out. And then she would send me the ones that she was like, oh, okay, this guy's a follower, he's a subscriber. Then obviously any hate messages, the few that we get, I mean, and really we don't get that many. It's like once in a while now. I mean, when I first started, I was getting tons, where now it's kind of like tapered off and we get a, a crazy, crazy, single damage damaged woman over 30 every once in a while will send us a message and uh they have to filter it right so this poor guy he's like responding to her like hey matt's never gonna read this because it's being filtered by us and our team here he's never gonna see this we get you know two over two thousand messages per day he was trying to tell her like because she said something like why isn't he gonna see it and he's like well because we have a youtube channel like two of them with you know, over 200,000 followers. We get thousands of messages per day and th thousands of comments and whatnot. Obviously he can't read all those, so it's my job to filter them. And there's actually three people who does the filtering, right? And he was just one of them who happened to respond to her because she kept messaging. And then he was like, hey, you know, please don't respond again. Otherwise we have to report it to Instagram because she was getting really nasty. And of course he's like, ah, oh, no, it's you. I know it's you, right? Cause he like ended up screenshotting it and asking me, should I report it? And I read like part of it. I'm like, yeah, reporter, why are you asking me? But she was like, no, it's you, it's you. And you can't afford a VA, blah, blah, blah. Like the, the business does 750 K per year. You think where I'm doing this all by myself? I'm like running two channels, uploading five times per week, doing all the thumbnails, the video editing, handling customer service, running the program. Do you think it's all just me? Right? Amazing. Thanks for the credit, right? Yeah, I was a one man show here. I've got other businesses to run. I've got handicapped dogs to take care of. I've got a life uh, outside of this. I, you know, I've got a six girl dating rotation. You think I have time to like respond to every single comment? And my grandmother has Alzheimer's. I'm like, yeah, I'm really just sitting here like doing everything myself. I'm like, I'm not Superman here. I'm just human. So anyway, she's like, she just continues to send us all these messages and uh, whenever I put out a coaching video like this where I talk about single women over 30 who are damaged goods, these chicks do come out of the woodwork. I get attacked, they stalk me on social media, they say all sorts, I mean it's always personal attacks. It's, they never debate the actual topic. Never, never once has a girl like, oh, um, here's a study, blah, 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 and what do you think of that? No, there was never a healthy debate. It's always like, oh, blah, 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 you, and your stupid rings, and your stupid Range Rover, and blah, blah, blah. And you know, it's like always attack, <laughs> right? And they're always single and over 30. The reason why they are so triggered by these coaching videos is because it describes them. And every time, like, we come across these type of women who like literally take like take the time to stalk us on social like find my social media and like take energy to write these diatribes like paragraphs that look like they could have taken at least a couple of hours to write i'm like wow you got that offended by this youtube video that i didn't even drop a single f-bomb in i mean i don't even drop f-bombs on my coaching videos because i try to get through them without it it's like you're offended by that wow it's just amazing to me that they want me to literally shut up and not tell guys this stuff, you know? And it's like, 
they're like, no, you've just dated the wrong women. You're just hurt. And it's like, yeah, I admit that. I'm hurt. We've all been hurt, you know, but hey, we move on. I've moved on, but you know what? A lot of guys are going through this and I want to save them that pain. You know, it's like, yeah, I'm happy now. I'm happy with my dating life. The chicks I'm dating are cool. They're not like you, right? They're not damaged goods. Yeah, I'm having a great life, but you know what? A lot of guys aren't there yet. They need to learn this stuff. So even trying to talk to them reasonably is just, it's pointless because it's like, no, blah, 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 blah. You know, you shouldn't be telling guys this. It's like, oh, I shouldn't be warning guys about females like you. I shouldn't be warning these guys. Of course I should. Of course I should, because I don't want them to end up with someone like you. Because a lot of these guys work their asses off to get where they are in life, right? I was one of those guys. A lot of these guys are busting their ass, taking risks, sacrificing time with their family in order to build a better life for themselves. And the last thing that I want these guys to do is subscribe to my channel and not get high value information that is going to prevent them from getting a high value woman in their life and high value people beyond just women high value people high value friends i'm not going to sit there and shut my mouth because you're over 30 single and damaged and you don't like it because you're exactly the person i'm talking about and you don't want me to warn other guys to avoid women like you right no get out of here with that this is why we do coaching videos like this guys i mean i i have to give it to you raw a lot of people don't like it but I gotta give it to you raw. I can't sugarcoat it. I see a lot of these red pill gurus, they like sugarcoat shit. Other dating coaches, right, that don't go out, they're never in field, they also sugarcoat it. I can't sugarcoat it. I can only be real with you. I can only tell you exactly what I've seen from not only my own personal experience, but my students, the thousands, hundreds of thousands of followers I have now. All of the students I've taught in field, I've seen them go through it. I'm trying to save you from having to go through it yourself. And thanks to uh, you know the internet, YouTube, we're able to share these coaching videos around and I hope you're sharing them with your guy friends too. But a lot of these chicks over 30 who are single and over 30 who are damaged goods are attacking me. So just so you know, every time I put out a coaching video like this, I get attacked. And I'm sure once this is published, I'm gonna get attacked. I'm sure a few of these crazy nuts over 30 that are single and damaged are gonna find my social media you know, and send me nasty DMs and whatnot that my poor Indian VA is going to have to like read, you know, and he's, he tells me, it's like, yeah, it's really disheartening when I see people respond like this. And he's like, I see your coaching videos. I don't really see anything that like disparaging. And, and I'm like, yeah, I know these chicks totally go off on the wall. And I'm like, it's not even for them. This is for men. It's like, why are you watching a man's dating channel? So uh, anyway, that is the first sign that the chick is emotionally damaged is when she's single and over 30. Sorry to go on that diatribe, guys. The second sign, moving on, let's move on. The second warning sign that she's emotionally damaged is she's had sex with more than 10 men. And you know what? I'll even take heat for this because I know 10 is not a whole lot these days, right? There, it's not a whole lot these days because of you know, feminism really, feminism really kicked open the door to make girls feel like it's okay to be a slut. It's okay to sleep with as many guys as you want, girl. Feminism opened the door to, you know, basically hoey behavior. And sadly, sadly, a lot of uh, women out there that really didn't care to have sex with that many guys just went ahead and did it because they felt like, oh, okay, this is something that is probably good for women, I'll do it, you know, because women have hive mentality. They listen to it, they believe each other, and really they don't understand from, you know, social perspective that women are hardwired, females are hardwired to sabotage each other. So it's like, no, they're not helping you, girl. I've told you a million times, I'm your best friend. I, you got a pickup artist on YouTube who is your best friend. I am your new bestie. It's not your female friends, even your female family, family members. They don't always have your best interests at heart. They will sabotage you if they see you more happier than they are. Having sex with more than 10 men, what it does, you know, even though it doesn't sound like a lot these days, but what that does is the more guys she has sex with, the less able she is to function in a normal, healthy relationship with you the less able she is to pair bond with you, where she won't leave, she won't exercise her open hypergamy, she won't get curious about the BBD, what else can she get? Can I get the bigger, better deal? Can I do better than this guy? She won't be doing that when she's had 
a very limited number of sexual partners, right? I mean, I really love it when a guy tells me like he's he's met a girl and she's had, you know, she can count her sexual partners on one hand and even half of that, right? I'm always amazed by that because it's so rare these days. It's so rare, you just don't see that. A lot of these girls just have bought into that feminist lie that it's okay to sleep around and they've really damaged not only themselves, but they damaged their sexual marketplace value, their SMV, because I don't know a single guy out there, even the most hardcore liberal feminist guys that I've met, ha having grown up in San Francisco, I, not even these guys want a female who has slept around with that many guys. Even them, their natural biological hardwiring as a man kicks in and tells them, ugh, gross, I don't want the village bicycle, right? I don't want to buy a bicycle that everybody else has ridden on, right? And foolishly, these chicks, sadly, have bought into the lie and they've slept around, they've rode the carousel, other guys have used and abused them, and they're like, oh, free Kim Kardashian or whatever, and now look, you can't hang on to a man. You can't keep a man. No man wants to t stick around. No man is dumb enough to put a ring on your finger. And any man who does put a ring on your finger, it's generally a guy who's low value, right? It's a low value guy who has no other choice, no other options. Because a high value guy is not gonna go there, right? A high value guy is gonna want a woman who has not been like riding the carousel throughout her 20s. Because as I teach you guys, girl has two choices in her 20s ride the carousel or get married, right? Good girls get married, bad girls ride the carousel. They ride it out, period, okay, period. Are there exceptions to the rule? Of course, right? I'm not saying all, every single woman. No, there's always exceptions to the rule and before you start hating, if you're female, maybe you're that exception, okay? So don't take offense to it. But uh, when a girl has had sex with more than 10 men, it affects her ability to pair bond with you. It does, right? And I, you know, personally, I mean, from what I've seen, a lot of guys, when they hear the girl is in double digits, it's a red flag to them in the back of their head. They're like, man, you know, this chick's kind of a hoe, right? That's how you get looked at. You are no longer looked at as a person. You start to become looked at as an object because you are. You allowed yourself to be an object and be objectified. Don't blame anybody but yourself if you rode the carousel, right? And when you've had sex with that many men and you're in double digits, especially if you're still in your 20s, imagine when the girl's in her 30s. I mean, she'll have three, four, five times that amount. I have literally met certain girls like that I would have dated, that I would have taken seriously, like flat out, you know, just tell me like, oh yeah, I've been with 50 guys. I've been with 75 guys and I'm like, oh, it's kind of gross. <laughs> Right? And I, yeah, I'm being hypocritical. I admit that because I've been with many more. I'm being a hypocrite there. I admit it. But because our brains are not wired the same, female and male brains are wired differently, we respond differently to that. Uh, most females I've told, I've admitted how many women I've slept with and how many women I've, women I've dated, which I is public information, right? It's on all my sales material. I don't hide it. Not a single one has been like oh gross I don't want to have sex with you no it, it's intrigued them even more because it's for them it's social proof whereas for guys we don't care about that we don't need a woman's social proof to tell us she's fine she's hot she's she's good looking right she's a fox she's doll face no we don't need social proof from that if we see a hot girl we're attracted to we don't care if no the guys have dated her we'd be like yeah she's hot I don't care whereas for uh, females their brains are wired differently. They really, it's like going back to the animal kingdom. I don't know what species of bird it is, but it's like there's this one species of uh, bird that uh, if they don't see them surrounded by other female birds, she's not gonna like be attracted to them sexually. I mean, it's really the same when it comes to female, human female brains is social proof is so powerful. I've often, you know, taught my students that as well. It's like the more hot girls I was able to bring into my life, the easier it was to get more because they could see that, wow, he already has beautiful women in his life. And you would think just from a brainwashing perspective from the from the matrix that, oh, that's not, she's gonna be turned off. She's not gonna want that. She'd rather have a guy single. No, no, it's done nothing but help me. It's done nothing but bring more hot girls in my life. It's like just this uh, ripple effect.
right? It's like a ripple effect. It just keeps, you know, bringing more women into my life, more hot girls in my life. So, so yeah, it's very different. It's very different for uh, women than it is men uh, for uh, sexual partners they've slept with. And uh, yeah, so when this girl told me she slept with 75 guys, I was like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that was like, I don't, I don't like the, I didn't, I didn't like that at all. And I was attracted to her too. I was like, ah, really? Why? You know? And she was like, I don't know. I, just, I like to have sex. And I'm like, like with that many people, she was like 29. So she, not like she was like 50 or anything. She was like 29 years old, 28. Sorry. 28. I'm like 75 guys. You're 28 years old. I'm like, geez. Uh, anyway. So yeah, that's the second sign that, uh, the chick is emotionally damaged and speaking of that girl I mean you know not to put her down because she's a cool girl and I like her now she's got to be in her 30s um, I hate to say it yeah she's emotionally damaged she is right she's emotionally damaged and I'm not surprised either you know and it's unfortunate because I like the girl but uh, yeah all right moving on the third and final sign that a woman is emotionally damaged is that she can't be alone okay she can't be alone and this really sadly feeds into her hypergamous ways because of the fact she can't be alone she is constantly constantly gonna be seeking the BBD so if you're with a woman who has never had a break in between boyfriends where she was alone for more than a couple of weeks that's a red flag in order for most people to develop mentally emotionally and mature I truly believe you need to spend time alone out of a relationship with just yourself so you can really get to know yourself. When you don't do that, uh, you become... It's my girl calling. <laughs> Should I answer? All right. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Uh, walking back from my walk. What are you doing? Uh, I'm in the middle of a coaching video. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no uh, worries. What's up? Uh, oh, I was just seeing what time you were thinking, so I now to shower and be ready. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, uh, let's see, it's about 6.30 right now. Um, I'm going to wrap things up here, so I'm probably going to leave here in the next, uh, in the next hour, so probably... Like 8 o'clock? Yeah, I'll, I could be there by 8. Okay. Is that good? good? All right. Does that yeah. work? Hi. Hey. Yes. Does that work? What? I said, does that work? Eight does work. Yes. That you was good? the time I had sent you by text, and I'm like, I didn't hear back. And like, so I you, just wanted to uh, know if I would be ready. I haven't told or anything yet. So. Uh, you didn't hear back from my text? No, I said I texted you, and I was like, eight o'clock, question mark, and then I didn't hear back. So I was just texting because I need to like shower and clean a little bit or whatever so that's good okay cool yeah yeah um that'll work all right so i'll i'll text you when i'm on my way okay sounds good all bye. right baby bye all right anyway all right returning to the coaching video here yeah we're supposed to go to dinner tonight and do a few other things but uh anyway yeah 22 22 yeah it's old man dating a 22 year old what's wrong with you <laughs> anyway okay moving on um so yeah we were talking about the third and final warning sign that she's emotionally damaged is uh yeah she can't be alone she she has she has such low self-esteem that she just can't be by herself for very long it's like she constantly has to jump into the next relationship. I mean, that is a red flag in itself because not only is she not getting to know herself, but she doesn't really even know much about these guys that she's jumping in a relationship with. The only reason why she's so quick to jump into a new relationship is the fact that she doesn't want to be by herself. She can't stand to just look herself in the mirror daily and just be at peace with the fact that like, hey, you know, it's just me. I need somebody else to entertain me. I need somebody else to keep me company. That's the thing with these chicks who can't be alone. They constantly need somebody else to keep them occupied to prevent them from, you know, kind of like acting out and doing things that they shouldn't be doing, right? Like just like sleeping around, monkey branching, 
you know, riding the carousel. A lot of these girls who can't be alone, uh, I have never seen a single one, one of them uh, form a healthy relationship. Even if they find somebody, they just find somebody who's codependent like them and they just kind of shut out the world and they don't really have a healthy life. You know, they don't have really have like a healthy lifestyle. Those are my top three warning signs that the girl is emotionally damaged. You wanna make sure that uh, you don't end up with one of these girls and you don't ruin your life, all right? So with that said, I'm going to wrap up here. Uh, I have to go shower myself, get ready to go pick up my girl and uh, I'm getting kind of hungry. So until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets. Do not forget to smash that like button below. Also hit that notification bell right next to it so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on YouTube. More importantly guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Helps me out a ton when you actually subscribe and also when you share my coaching videos with your other like-minded guy friends. It helps me out a ton, guys. So if you would share my coaching videos with your like-minded guy friends, I would appreciate that as well. Obviously, do not share my coaching videos with feminists or crazy like old hags over 30 that are single and damaged. Because some of you guys were like, hey, I shared your video on a feminist, on this feminist blog, and I got attacked. I'm like, well, duh. <laughs> don't send, don't share my videos there. It's not gonna help us. Share it with other red pill guys that are of the same mindset of you, and we could really build out this tribe, right? We could really build out this tribe and, and pair bond together and uh, put an end to feminism and really just crush it out there. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill content that I've been putting out lately, and I am coining those terms by the way, gold pill and platinum pill, uh, those are my own creation. I'm gonna trademark them. For all you guys who wanna support all of my content, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and just like I do, approach and close the hottest, youngest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. Same type of women I'm going out with tonight, guys. I'm so excited to see this girl tonight. She's hot, like brunette, blue eyes, just gorgeous, really blessed, right? Really blessed, naturally blessed. They're not fake, right? Really excited to see this girl tonight. We've been dating for a while now and uh, having a great time together. I really enjoy her company. I'm gonna teach you how to meet girls just like that in my program, Seven Months to Mastery, where again, I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, mister. The cream of the crop, right? The type of women you only see in magazines. The type of women that your friends can only dream about. I teach you how to get these women and bring them into your life, okay? And this is the absolute best way to support my work through seven months of mastery. We're getting the high caliber women, guys, and I want you to be able to do the same, okay? So all of the lessons that I teach you in seven months of mastery, they are vital and powerful, and trust me when I tell you, you need these lessons because nobody taught you this stuff growing up, right? Your parents, teachers, society, they all fail to teach you this stuff. That's where I come in, okay? I am a professional pickup artist. I have been teaching for the last almost three decades now. That's crazy, right? I've been teaching guys for the last three decades. I've had many of my students go on to very successful relationships with very hot women. Many of these guys have even gotten married, right? And I'm not plugging marriage or anything like that, but a lot of them have gone in that direction because they wanted to have families. And to this day, they still send me thank you letters like, oh my gosh, if it weren't for you, I would have settled for that five foot two, 200 pound tyrant, and I would be that little boy, you know, at the grocery store with his wife just completely pounding on him and uh, treating him like a beaten dog, right? But instead, I've got this beautiful wife, I've got these beautiful children because of you, right? I've got this beautiful lifestyle because of you, the things that I've learned from pickup, from game, from you, because these are lessons that you can apply not only to get like really hot women into your life, like really attractive women into your life, but you can also use these lessons in your business life, getting into better shape, health, fitness, diet. As I always teach you guys, pick up is life, game is life. All of these lessons can easily be transferred to your own life, right? 
no matter what you're doing. It's a shame to me that a lot of guys just kind of ignore these lessons because they only see the surface of it. It's like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't need pickup girls or da da da. And it's like, well, okay, then don't. But you know what? You could use this stuff in other areas of your life as well. Okay, it's that powerful. Okay, it's that powerful. And the first month is only a buck. Okay, it's only one dollar for the entire first month of coaching lessons. So take advantage of it. Right? I'm gonna leave that one dollar offer up there for a little while longer, right? Just a little while longer. So please take advantage of it while you can. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. It's so easy to do, right? Only takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.